This is tutorial number four, and it covers the mouse buttons within Katia V5. To start off, open up the fishing reel step file, which is located on the DVD. So what I'm going to do in this tutorial is I'm just going to show you the hot buttons for the mouse. So to start off, I'm going to open up a picture of the mouse that we're going to be using, just so everyone knows when I say button one, button two, and button three what each of those buttons is going to do. So let's go back to and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you first how to zoom in and zoom out with your mouse. So what you have to do is hold down mouse button 2 and then click mouse button 3. Now you'll have, you can see the icon, the arrows going up and down and if you push forward it's going to zoom in and if you push out Towards your, uh, pull it towards yourself, it's going to zoom out. Now try it again. Mouse button 2, hold down, click mouse button 3 once, and you can zoom in and zoom out. Now I'll show you how to rotate with your mouse. Now hold mouse button 2 and hold mouse button 3, and you'll have that little hand there. Now if you move it around, you'll see that you're able to rotate and move the whole part or assembly all around. Now let's zoom out and if you just press and hold on mouse button 2 you're able to pan and just move the part around in space. So let's hold the part and let's move it to the right and then put your mouse to the left and just click mouse button 2 once. What that does is now you've created a new center point of rotation. So if we zoom out a bit more until we can see the part, if we hold mouse button 2 down and mouse button 3 to rotate and move around, you'll see that we're now rotating on a much larger scale and larger axis. Now pull the part into the middle and zoom in again and try to rotate again. Now when we rotate, compared to before, it's very uh, finicky as we're using a much larger radius to rotate around and you don't get the same results. Now all you have to do to get back to rotating close in tight with your part is click mouse button 2 on the part, on the point where you want to rotate around. So say I want to rotate around this bit here, so just click it. Now that's the center of rotation and now your part's going to rotate around there. You can change it up to any part or feature on your uh, on your part or assembly. So mouse button 2, if you just click it anywhere on the part when you're in a file, it's going to create a new center point or your uh, your point of rotation. So again, like I showed you, if we zoom out and click on the side, now we've got a big arc, big circle. When we zoom in, and if we click on the part, now we have a small circle. So it's uh, a very good tool to know how to uh, change your rotation point because when you're dealing with larger assemblies your rotation point may be far and you might have limited use and when you need to focus in on a certain part or certain uh, feature you need to click on it to be able to do that. And then mouse button 1 is just uh, clicking on the parts and you're able to highlight it. If you click mouse button 3 you get more options. So this is more like in Windows when you have when you're clicking mouse button 1 and mouse button 3 to select an, ob uh, select an object and get some more details of an object. And that concludes our tutorial on the mouse buttons within Katia V5.